Hey there everybody, uh, this is Eric. I um, uh, got another video here for you. So uh, the other day I was out here in my garage as I disappear. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I was out here in my garage and uh, I was doing some work with this Hobart here and uh, getting kind of tired of working on the welding on, you know, working and welding on the ground. So I don't really have a whole lot here to, you know, to work on. So, um, but when I do, you know, it's nice to have a decent place that I could uh, work so, um, but yeah, anyways, I don't know if you can see it, but, oh yeah, um, that's my garage. It's nothing special. Um, yeah, it's just the dirt, nasty floor, and it puddles in there really bad. It's sloped. Um, it goes from this side to that side, and it kind of pulls right there where the tarp is, you know, where I'm actually, like, working. So, usually I'll just throw around something, you know, non-flammable. I have a, a couple chunks of metal, like, I'll throw down, and I'll just use that, but it's getting kind of... Kind of annoying, and I'm getting tired of working on the dirt floor, so um, thought about going and getting some rock, but uh, yeah, that's a little more expensive. So, anyways, so yeah, so I went down to my local uh, industrial shop, kind of industrial area. It's actually just right up the street, and uh, went down there and picked up some metal. So uh, this is what I got in the back, sitting in the back of my Jeep. I have a. Uh, this, uh, it's a uh, three eighths or three sixteenths um, by five foot by two feet um, steel plate. It's uh, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about it. It's I mean it's nothing thick, but you know, it should work. It's flat and it's you know decent, but it does. It's you know it's not really sturdy. It's bendable. So um, I got those, and then I got uh, these up here. I didn't really have a whole lot of money. You know I'm uh, at the end of my check. So I uh, tried to save a little bit extra money, and I got these. They're uh, chirp out. All right, there we are. So it's a uh, two by uh, it's a two inch by uh, two inch um, L steel, and I'm going to use these for kind of like braces. And then I got eight uh, bolts. I believe they're three eighths or quarter or something with nylocks. So, um, but this is what I have planned for you. Let's just take a little I walk here. Barbecue that I have sitting over here. That uh, was actually it was actually sitting over there. I drug it out, but uh, this old barbecue that we uh, don't really use anymore. It um, I think I blew a hole through the bottom of it or something like that. Yeah, you can kind of tell there. There's there's holes in the bottom of it and everything. And, um, and I think the burner went out on it, so it doesn't really cook anymore. It's you know it's rusted and full of water and everything. So um, it was a, you know it had its served its use and yeah, and we just kind of threw it in the scrap bin. So. But anyways, it has this nice uh, kind of base to it. It uh, has cabinets and, uh, and wheels and a kind of like a stand and whatnot. And I was like, well, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I, you know, I could have a uh, um, kind of build on top of it and I could have like a little, you know, cubby station in the bottom. I can throw, you know, like a helmet or, you know, whatever else. And then I kind of seen those and I was like, oh, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I could throw my, uh, my uh, um, you know, my gun right here real quick or something like that or some tools. Or whatever and I was like well I don't really want to you know work on that I mean it, it's, it's metal it you know it and it would you know it takes some heat but you know it's really thin so um, but then I was like well I could uh, lay a plate you know all the way across that and then that way it you know it'd be flat and it'd be strong and I can get a little thicker and take a little bit of heat so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this whole unit off in the middle and there's just some screws here in the back and then the front and then I just need to take it off and basically it comes from right here and there's uh, the start of the legs right here and they just go down all the way to the bottom and I thought you know I could just unscrew this whole thing and then just build from here and then um, you know just kind of fill it in piece it together and then lay a top, or, you know, you know, a top on that so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this barbecue apart and uh, turn it into a little welding table station storage thing so yeah, alrighty, so uh, let's get started. Hey there guys, uh, this is Eric again. Uh, I did some tinkering on this uh, barbecue here. I'm gonna try to remove the, the, the actual cooking part of it, um, taking it away from the actual, like the stand of it. So I think I got most of it uh, taken care of, and um, I'm gonna uh, pry up on it here a couple of times and see if I can get it to break loose. So, alright, here you go.
YouTube got it all off of there. So now I just need to clean it up here a little bit and straighten it back out. Take off a couple of these things and uh, grind it down, and we're ready to put on some plate. So, alrighty, let's get to it. Hey there, YouTube. This is Eric again. Um, so I finally got this top of the the hood and the barbecue part off of the off of this stand and set it down and I was gonna take it out and I thought I'd show a quick video of kind of what it's gonna look like. So um so yeah I just kinda of threw it up there and kinda of leveled it out kinda of, and or just kinda of squared it up and everything. So this is what it's gonna kinda of look like. Um not exactly perfect or anything but just kinda of, just kinda of to show you what it kinda of looks like. So um, yeah, that uh, little stand right there is probably going to be removed. And uh, later on, I'll probably put, uh, put in some shelves. And then probably a new bottom plate as well to cover up that hole. So, um, yeah, you kind of see the, uh, I can get out of light, but uh, you kind of tell, like, right there, I have that little extra cubby hole there and the hooks and everything still. So that way I can just kind of throw my, uh, torch in there if I wanted to real quick or some extra little odds and ends or my pliers or something like that and keep them out of the way and they'll stay stashed there so um, I'm also thinking about throwing in some uh, around a, a ground clamp or uh, some hooks and stuff like that on either one of the sides or in the front or something so um, but yeah so I'm gonna add this all up here and I didn't notice this but there's like a little kind of cubby hole right here in the front and I um, kind of thought maybe putting in a drawer right there maybe uh, just uh, fabbing up one real quick kind of box it in frame it in and then add a, a drawer right there in the front just for some little extra storage or maybe just another little cubby hole for now or something so um, and then also later on um, the Hobart I gonna mount it up in here as well but I'm gonna put it because it has that door there and it's it's on the other side of there uh, or on the other side of the wheel there and I figured I put it on this side uh, on the outside and then don't even worry about boxing it in or anything I'll just put like a build like a little platform off of the bottom here and then uh, the and then that way I can uh, set the welder here on the outside and I can adjust it and whatever and I can get I can open the door um, and then I can turn or I can plug it into a bottle or you know have plenty of room without getting snagged or hung up on anything um, and then get to the you know the gauges and and uh, switches and everything so yeah, that's uh, later to come after I get my check, so.